Hi, welcome to another five in five, this time Victorian Chardonnay. We're spanning from $35 through to about 120. Each of them represent excellent value for money. And I'm gonna tell you why. Starting in wine number one, we've got the 2021 Malign Port Arlington Chardonnay. This is from the Bellarine Peninsula in Victoria, down near Geelong. This is a really exciting wine for me. This producer makes wines that are incredibly detailed and focused. And I often go to colors to describe wines. And for here, I'm in really sage green territory. For me, this is kind of, it's herbal and it's leafy, but there's rocks and brine. There's salt bush, there's tobacco leaves, there's all kinds of really beautiful characters in here. So to tell you a little bit about the wine, it's made from clone I-10V1, which we don't have very much of or any of actually in Western Australia. It's planted in 1994, wild ferment, full solids, nine months, French oak, 20% new, really incredible producer, $50 in Australia, um, which is for my money, pretty bang on standard for, for good Chardonnay. One to watch out for, beautiful labels, but even more beautiful wine, most importantly. Uh, moving into wine number two, we've got the 2020 Mount Mary Chardonnay from Yarra Valley. This is one of Australia's great Chardonnays. It is routinely sophisticated and classy. The 2020 um, is absolutely no exception to that. Cool vintage, no malo, which uh, could um, surprise you if you put it in your mouth because it is creamy and streamlined and beautiful. It's also got a gorgeous kind of toasted nut character, which can sometimes come from malo. It has not had that, which is really quite exciting. The cool area affords a really lovely juicy acidity, which winemaker Sam Middleton has retained in this wine. So hand-picked hard pressing to extract those beautiful phenolics that shape this wine and really um it really does define how the wine feels in the mouth um fermented and matured in french oak barrels 30 percent new a combination of small and large format oak um really up to sort of 1500 uh, liters i love this wine i love love this wine it is delicious but it's well made and those things um may sound like they're mutually exclusive they're not always um, this is just an exercise in restraint and power that go hand in hand um, quite different from many other Yarra Valley Chardonnays I absolutely love it mm. ripping wine excellent for the cellar moving into wine number three I nearly fell over when I tried this wine uh, for the first time it's $35. It's from Beechworth. We love Beechworth, um, Giaconda, Sorenberg, Savater, Domenica, a whole bunch of super producers fighting Gully Road, absolutely among that. Um, so this, the fruit for this is from two uh, areas. One is the Fighting Gully Road vineyard. The other is the Smith's vineyard, which is as it happens, the oldest vineyard in Beechworth planted in 1978. Uh, Malo's blocked. The all of the, the usual things we'd expect, um, hand-picked, whole bunch pressed, straight to barrel, good amount of solids. Um, what else can I tell you? When I tried it, the reason why I loved it, the reason why I tried when I tried it, I just could not believe how cheap this wine is at 35 bucks. It's outrageous. Maybe it's 40, whatever. Um, it is spicy. It's flinty. It's complex. It's delicious. The acid's really taut. The fruit's powerful. This is an exceptional wine. If you can track it down, I was so thrilled to try it, you know, because Chardonnay, Chardonnay's expensive. Good Chardonnay's expensive because oak's expensive and everything that goes into Chardonnay costs a lot. But this, um, this is, this is just not, it's just awesome. Ripping little wine, highly recommend it. Uh, wine number four, this is the 2020 Seville Estate Chardonnay. Now, I tried this alongside the premium, the reserve Chardonnay, and I started with this one and I loved it. That's why I've got it here. It's about $50 a bottle, um, hand-picked, whole bunch pressed, settled overnight, gravity fed, full solids into barrel, wild ferment, wild malo, um, 10 months in French oak, 30% new, and a combo of, of sizes as usual, bariques up to 3,000, no, 2,500 litres sort of size but so to come back to that i looked at this wine um, alongside the reserve and this i looked at first and i loved it which is why i've included it here as i've said but the reserve is a better wine it's a, it's more complex it's more powerful it's longer it's also more expensive so if you want to understand the seville estate style of chardonnay which you can do for about fifty dollars i would recommend doing that and then if you love it which i'm sure you will you step up into the reserve and see um it is a it is a better bigger longer more powerful wine but this one 
is just so bloody good in the meantime. Uh, Finally, ending on the Montalto Pen and Hill Chardonnay 2021, I judged at the 2022 James Halliday um, Australian Chardonnay and Cabernet Challenge. And we looked at, I've talked about this before, but we looked at Chardonnays um, from all over. I, I think I had um, on my panels, we had Adelaide Hills, Mornington Peninsula, Yarra Valley, Margaret River, Tasmania. And In the Mornington Peninsula bracket, I gave a bunch of goals. I was just like, classy, 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 lots of classy wines in Mornington. This producer I gave something like four golds to. Obviously, everything's tasted 100% blind. Um, This ended up walking away with the best wine in the Mornington Peninsula region, um, top gold. Um, This is made almost exactly like all of the others, hand-picked, whole bunch pressed, um, straight to barrel, 24 months uh, t- sorry, 24% new, a very, a very important figure in, in the statistic, um, uh, statistic lineup that we need f- to understand the wines and how they're made. Um, full solids ferment, occasionally stirred, mature for nine months in French oak. I was pretty astounded by this wine and I still am. Um, super, super value for money. You won't catch me saying that very often about Chardonnay. As you know, I love great Chardonnay and I don't care what I pay for it. Um, so if you aren't drinking great Chardonnay, shame on you. And if you are awesome, try these. They're really very different in style. All five of these represent four points on a compass plus one. Um, highly, highly recommended. <laughs>